yeah, I think they did a very nice job in making this look a little bit different. Good morning! I'm here in the Kausan area in Tanon Kraisi and they revamped the whole street here so in Kausan they did a big upgrade and they decided to do that here as well so what they did is they made a whole new pavement and then they got the pine trees in here and it's very funny because it makes you feel a little bit like you're in Europe but make no mistake we are in Thailand there's a very beautiful temple just across the street but let's focus on Kanon Kraisi yeah I think they did a really nice job in yeah, when the COVID started, uh, the Kaosan Road area has been completely revamped and they made a big effort to yeah, just make everything a little bit cleaner, a little bit more up-to-date and they did that as well here in Soi Kreisi. And Soi Kreisi is more like a shopping street and yeah, it's very funny because you have a bit of a feeling like you're in Europe, in an inner city, you know? So. I noticed there is a nice Chinese shrine in here. Yeah, it's interesting to see what the government is trying to do to make everything a little bit better. So the idea is to attract more visitors here when everything is open and to make it more attractive for tourists and for shoppers. And I think they did a nice job. And in case you were wondering, it's real. You know, when I saw it in the first time, I thought it might be fake. But it's definitely real pine trees. And as here you can see also this building is being uh, renovated. Yeah, of course, during this COVID crisis, it's the perfect time to, to come up with these kind of projects now. I think it looks really nice. It really gives me the feeling that I'm uh, somewhere back in Europe. But you still have the tuk-tuk driving through. See here, the hostel is still open. So it's Monday morning, about a quarter past ten. Yeah, at the moment there is a, an alcohol ban, which means that bars are not allowed to open, entertainment venues are not open, and restaurants can serve food, but until nine o'clock in the evening, and they are not allowed to serve alcohol yeah I think they did a very nice job in making this look a little bit different
yeah, here on the main road. Still a lot of shops open. Yeah, so normally this area is also packed with tourists. Uh, Kaosan Road is just a, just in front here. Yeah, I just wanted to make a small video to give a, an idea and an update how everything is around the Kaosan area. Because, uh, you know, most people, they just show you only the Kaosan Road and Rambutri. But, um, yeah, Rambutri is just in front here, so this is only two streets down. And I think they did a good job. So I hope that when COVID is finished, going to be a popular street so the idea is to also revamp this street this is uh, Rambutri uh, so Kaosan was the first phase that was the second phase and this is going to be the third phase so this is probably going to look the same in the future with uh, with all the pillars in the street so let me show you Kaosan as well Yeah, so I think when uh, when traveling is allowed again and everybody let's hope by the middle of this year when all the vaccines come through and we are able to travel again, let's... Uh, yeah, then I think Kaosan Road and the Kaosan area is going to look completely different from what everybody is used to. I think they are doing a great job. As always, Bangkok is uh, evolving a lot. But luckily you always have the nice traditional temples as well. This is where it used to be the police station. I don't know what's going to be in place of the police station here, but they broke it down about half a year ago. Okay, so here I'm at the entrance of Kaosan Road. Yeah, so this was uh, done during the first phase of the renovations. As you can see, it's the similar thing with the pillars in the street. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this update about the Kaosan Road area. If you did, feel free to subscribe and see you guys in my next video.